In this video, I'll break down my color grading workflow in Final Cut Pro. These are just some things that I do to make the colors in my video really pop and make my videos look really good. So here is the before image before any of the color grading is applied. And then here is kind of like after. So you can see it looks tremendously better. So what we're gonna do is gonna hover our playhead over this uh, clip right here. And you wanna do is you wanna head over here and you wanna go to Windows you want to go to workspaces and then color and effects and this will bring up the color wheels so let's go ahead and just disable the effects panel now what i like to do is i go to view and then i'll just select on this and then i'll go down here and i'll change this to luma i really only work with the luma slider there are a whole or the luma like waveform there are a whole bunch of other ways you could do this but in my opinion i think just using the luma this luma thing right here is honestly good enough so what i'm going to do is I'm select on the clip right here the first Thing I like to do is I like to apply a color wheel so I'm gonna click um, a plus color wheel now what you want to do is basically the kind of like the gist of it is you'd never want your highlights to go over a hundred and you never want your shadows to go below zero so in this case you can see our shadows are pretty low so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna increase the shadows just a little bit because I want to bring it above the one of uh, 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 bring it above the zero line now I'm gonna increase the highlights a little bit now don't worry I'm gonna be playing other effects but I just like kind of doing just doing like a basic first with just like the color wheels and then I'll maybe increase the mid-tones a little bit again this is not like a perfect setup but I just like messing with the color wheels just a little bit and then I'll fine-tune it with different um, tools later now what I like to do too in the color wheels I like to go to the temperature and in this case I like to increase the temperature to 7,000 now it might this might be extreme for your videos but I really like having I really like my videos having that warm feel so I usually have it go to above like you know 7,000 6,000 something in that area now that's kind of what I do first is just kind of like just do a basic um, uh, color grade with just you know increasing the shadows highlights midtones and then just adjusting the temperature now once I have that kind of like base applied what I want to do now is I want to apply a color adjustments layer so click on here and then add color adjustments now this is where I'm going to take it a little more seriously and really fine-tune everything so what I'm going to do is in this case see the, the exposure is pretty low so we're gonna go ahead and crank up the exposure but again we don't want to go above 100 so right here is probably fine now we can go through and apply the contrast now the contract is the contrast is basically going to affect the brightest parts and the darkest parts so you see that the the waveform will go up and down at the same time so I like to apply a bit of contrast so you can see see how it's like going up and down so now you've added some contrast um, to your actual shot now I'll increase the brightness maybe a little more again don't ever let it go above 100 and the highlights a little more so again see see how this right here you don't want to go over 100 now this is over 100 a little bit but as you can see it's not really peaking so it should be perfectly fine now again so I'll look, go through and adjust all that now what I'm going to do is go to the black point and the black point is basically at the bottom so what I'm going to do is going to take the bottom and you kind of want to be right around the zero mark so see, now this is kind of like right at the zero so this is the kind of the shadows so now let's go ahead and crank up the shadows a little bit it, it's sitting right on the zero line so it should be fine maybe you want to just mess with the blacks a little more I think so see right at 100 right at zero so that should be pretty good now I like to increase the saturation so I'll uh, saturate the image a little bit obviously again all this is a personal preference so increase the saturation a little bit now what I like to do is I like to go to the highlights warmth and I personally like to increase the highlight warmth to something around like 35 40 again I like my image to have a lot more of a warm tone to it so you can see already that's looking a lot better now also the mid tones now the mid tones is usually your skin tone so just keep that in mind so let's increase the mid tones because we want my skin to have a little more of an orange uh, hue to it so I think that looks pretty good and usually that's pretty much what I adjust you can also adjust other stuff too, but that's kind of just the basics of what I adjust in the uh, color adjustment layer. Now the final thing I apply is a, so if I go here, click on this, and I'll apply a color curve. So I'll also apply a color curve. Now I also, basically, you've heard apply the term the S-curve, so I always like to use an S-curve. Now what the S-curve basically does is it basically just adds contrast to your shot, that way your shot isn't so flat. So basically you have the blacks right here, the shadows, the midtones, the highlights, and the whites. 
basically right here the, the midtones basically affect kind of this middle area the highlights affect this top part and the shadows affect this bottom part so as you can see see how it's kind of sitting on the zero line I might actually take the shadows and maybe bring the shadows a little bit up or we can go ahead and bring them a little bit down so you can see so see if I bring it up the lighter it gets or the darker it gets so I think maybe that should look pretty good then maybe I want to increase the midtones a little more and then I also want to increase the highlights so as you can see I think overall so you see how that go kind of like before and then after see how that adds a lot of contrast to your shot so you can see you kind of create so you see it's looking like an S so that's kind of what that's basically what people say like an S curve it's basically just adding contrast to the shot now I think overall it looks a little bit good it might be see how it's sitting right on the zero I think that probably should be pretty good you really again don't want you basically like the gist of it is you don't ever want it going below zero and you don't ever want it going above 100 so if it's going really high over 100 now you want to bring down the highlights if it's below zero you want to bring up the shadow so as you can see overall i think this image looks pretty good it's right at 100 and right at zero and as you can see it's kind of like right in the middle so overall i think that looks pretty good now you can also you know, you know mess with the vector scope and the RGB parade and all that kind of stuff if you want to this is not a super in-depth tutorial but I think just for a basic YouTube video or, or an Instagram video just using this you know window right here messing with the color curves adjustments wheels and I think already this image looks a whole lot better so I think that that especially for social media videos this is really all you need to do now the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to the effects panel and I'm going to find the color tab and what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply a custom LUT so you're going to scroll them to you can find custom LUT. Now this is already pre-built into Final Cut. What you want to do is you want to apply this custom LUT onto your actual video layer. Now this is where you can actually apply LUTs to your videos. So head over here to the effects panel. As you can see, custom LUT. Now what you want to do is you want to I click on this icon and now you can click on choose custom LUT to import a LUT. Now LUT should always be .cube file so click on choose custom LUT, uh, select the .cube file and you should be able to import. Now once you have it imported as you can see here are all the LUTs. So let's just you know apply a random one. So let's click on LUT number four and I think that looks really nice. As you can see it adds a lot of contrast to the shot. Now as you see it also decreased the highlights a little bit. So what we can do is we can maybe, actually before we do that let's go over to the mix. Now as you can see the Make this, the, the mix slide as you can see it's basically adjust uh, adjusting the intensity so let's say let's take the mix to something like 50 kind of right in the middle and I think that looks really good so you can see we might want to go over back over to the color adjustments and maybe increase the highlights a little bit more something like that if you won't go back over to color adjustments and take the actual exposure and increase the exposure, something like that. That way it's closer to the 100 number. And I think overall that looks really good. So there's kind of like the final image. Now again, you can go through and mess with stuff later. So here's kind of like the what we have. And now here is the kind of like the one that we just edited. So you can see it looks a lot better. You can go through and mess with a whole bunch of other settings too to make it look a lot better. So you can see here is the before. So let's go ahead and up, up, uh, put the before on top. So you can see kind of like see the before and after so here is before and then here's uh, so here's before after before after so you can see right off the bat that looks so much better like if I just you know a post of the video looking like this it just looks atrocious but just you know some simple color grading a couple minutes and now you have this really cool grade and again you can go through and adjust stuff you know adjust the different settings if you if you don't think it looks quite right but that's just kind of the basic overview the basic way I kind of color grade of my uh, videos in Final Cut anyways hopefully you enjoyed this video if you enjoy watching these types of videos make sure to go and hit that subscribe button if you're looking for some really cool Final Cut Pro plugins make sure to check out my website, winkinsmedia.com. See you in the next one. Peace.